Hi folks, <clears throat> this is Jimmy up in the mountain. I'm up on a ridge. The ridge goes about 10 miles that way to Mount Escutney, Vermont, and it ends about a mile that way at the Connecticut River Valley. And there's a series of three ancient walls built here in Vermont that no one remembers building. And there are a lot of clues to who built it, if you look in the right spots. Well, this is one of the spots, and it's a long wall sitting on this ridge line running north-south. I don't even know how long it is, and I can't even see most of it. It's covered in thorn bushes and maple trees and strangler vines. Forever it's been here. These are all pasture lands. Now they're hay grass. Cows used to have a party here. At the top of the hill there's another long wall and on the other side there's another long wall, three of them. All the same direction. And this one has an interesting stone carved into it. And it's not a mistake. I found other stones similar. Not shaped like a boat but fit in these little cairns along the walls and it looks like a boat to me. It doesn't have any masts, doesn't have a rudder, or it just looks like a boat. And it's here in Vermont. I would like to go down and show you some more of the wall, but I don't have my combat gear on. There's another cairn built in the wall. I don't know if you can see the white stone. They always seem to be placed in the center of a circular structure in the wall. And if you go over there, you'll step down because the wall's built up on a ledge, as all three of them are. And they look at the horizon. You'd never know it with all these trees here, but this used to be clear at one time. No trees at all. You can see there's hay grass growing. From the years and years and years of dairy farming in this land, and the wall just keeps going on and on and on. And on and on, you can't see it. That's why they've been protected. That's why they haven't been studied. The ones that have have been gone over and looked at, and not always with a good result. You have to look at a lot of these walls and start getting a picture of what they're telling us. And they do follow the sun and the moon and the stars. And three parallel walls a few thousand feet apart, all on ridge lines. One, two, and three. Way up high overlooking the western horizon. I'm sort of stumbling here because I can't see it. But without all of these trees here, you'd have a clear view of the horizon on this wall. You would on the one that's up there that goes all along. There's a well and a spring there where it comes out of with giant stones placed there. Vermont has a history of moving large stones, has a history of stone chambers and structures. Vermont is jungle. These are all thorns right here. You cannot get through that. That's what's a, called a fence, a Vermont fence. Stones were too heavy. They built these. No one can get through them. Not even the cows. They won't even try. But a serious researcher can get through these and start seeing the existence of these walls. And see, there it is. Right there. Continue along the ridge line. Foundations are several, several feet down below the tops of the wall. Covered in ancient, ancient um, leaf litter and dirt and trees and growth. But the walls all have artistic designs in them and they're all similar. And around the state, 
Many of them that I've seen are similar. You could say they were built by the same people, they're so similar. Which I don't believe, but the same culture with the same things on their mind, the same building techniques, watching the sun and the moon and the stars and putting all this energy into doing it. Look how high this wall is. The base of it is way down there. And they, all three of the walls seem to be built in the highest places possible. And if we look at these walls, we'll find some pretty interesting things in them. This one looks destroyed a little bit from the wear and tear, just from the jungle. You would think you were in uh, Central America if you saw these jungles here. But fortunately, it's kept a lot of this protected. Unfortunately, it's kept it in the dark. But maybe that's good. We'll bring it to light. Vermont, ancient Vermont, haygrass, dairy fields, thorn bush fences, and ancient, ancient walls built by people who apparently were taller than we are today. Skeletons were found in Vermont that are over seven feet tall. I'll call them giants because if I looked at a seven foot tall person, I'd think they were a giant. Okay, everyone, I'm going to take my tractor home. Hope you learned something. Thank you.